Um, sorry, nothing. So it's um, no. Hello, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to. Uh, stay fresh, though, Trevor. You're looking. Secret... Well, you're not looking too fresh. You're looking. <laughs> it's, I'm laid back now. The secret is to is to always stay fresh. Oh, of course, right. As though. You... Yeehaw! Another beer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hello everyone, and welcome to Beer Sweden Television. Uh, the only Beer Sweden Television. In the yeah, the, on exactly. The, hang on. The only beer Sweden television in the, the beer the, in the Sweden that's on television that's about beer in English. In English. That's in Umeå. Yeah. Um, um, the beer that we're going to try today. Do you know what I feel like which doing? It's a different actually. day from the last episode, isn't it? Do you know what I feel like doing? S same shirt. Singing. I'm actually going to do it. That was four episodes. Ago. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it. What? Burp. I'm going to do it. No. I'm going to do it. What? I'm going, going off piste. What are you doing? I'm going off piste. Trevor, are you sure? Are we in short for this? What's pe going on? Pe people in, in like Melbourne stuff really, really don't have a clue, do they? Uh, are you going to go? You want to show what? Or what it's like outside? Yeah. Can you see that? Look, that's, that, what, that's what you call snow. That's snow. That's real snow. That's right. That's why we're indoors, isn't it, Trevor? Look, everything's falling apart now. Oh, look. Chest broke. You've broken the light, Trevor. Oh, mate, sorry. Uh, what am I going to do with that now? Um, Okay, listen. Um, we're going to try. Are you back? Are you? Are you there? Yeah. Hello. Oh, no. Um, we're going to try a beer today from Brewdog. Heard of them, Trev? Um, a beer yes. that came out first of uh, first of Feb. Um, briefly um, sold out. I think within the first couple of hours, actually uh, managed strangely to get hold of a bottle of it. Um, it's a paradox, and this one is Jura. Let me hold it up for you. Fifteen percent people Imperial Stout. Uh, now, if you've um, come across. What's that mean, then? Uh, what, 15%? Jura. Jura. Jura is a whiskey. Okay. So it's aged in, or oh, it's an island actually. Join me ignorance. Yeah, it's an island. Yeah, but we're not whiskey drinkers, are we? No, Jura? I'm oh, definitely we're, not. we're very honest uh, beer drinkers, that's what we are. Um, the, uh, but this beer is actually part of a series of uh, paradox be uh, beers, imperial stouts that have been aged in different casks. And uh, what's your, that? Your wife coming home, I should have had it. Oh, I just had the camera just oh, now. Mrs. coming home, we better be quick. Um, uh, now, in terms of the beers that we've had before, uh, Smokehead was one of them, I seem to remember. Uh, Isle of Arran was another one. Uh, Smokehead was very smoky, quite peaty. Uh, Isle of Arran, actually, I really enjoyed. Uh, this one's 15%. Uh, a little bit stronger, I believe. Can't really recall. Uh, but as I say, it's been aged in uh, Jura whiskey casks. Um, and, um, well, that's pretty much it. Let's see what it does. Trev, are you excited? No. You're not really, because you're not really a whiskey, no, sort of, like, smoky, type, all this sort of stuff. Type of guy. Now I'm expecting this to pour the colour of night. Um, look at that engine oil. And it does absolutely. Look at this. Look, gorgeous looking. Um, very, very. Uh, I say tannin. Hold it up a bit, mate. Uh, can you see that there? Hold there you it go. Up there, yeah. Uh, that head's disappearing very quickly. It's black, though. Uh, it's black. Well, it's really, really dark brown. Uh, it does build a head there, but it obviously sort of fizzles away pretty quickly. With this amount of booze in it, that's not... What did you say the ABV was? 15%. Okay. 15% this one. Um, so it's been sitting on some cars for a few months. I'll tell you what, though. It's gorgeous nose to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Best of the paradox, as far as I'm concerned. This is spontaneous stuff. You know why I like it? There's some milk chocolate and there's some vanilla notes to this, which is obviously coming out through the, from the cars. The whiskey itself, nothing like Smokehead, you know, which is really quite a brutal, quite quite a demanding sort of whiskey. Um, I'm no whiskey fan. I'm no whiskey expert. Uh, but whatever this whiskey is, I'm going to go out and rush out and buy a bottle of it because actually it's got some very nice soft sort of vanilla-y notes to it, fruity notes to it as well. It's a very nice soft chocolate, not too bitter. The nose on this, I have to say, is spectacular. Giving it a whirl, Trev. Giving it a whirl. Ooh! Yeah. No, this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, it's sweet, yes. Um, it's molasses. It's that vanilla note that I'm loving so much. The whiskey's there, but it in no way overpowers this beer. Um, I would have to say, I would almost go as far as it's actually almost like red sort of tinges to it. Um, I'd have to go as far as to say, I'm not a huge fan of beers that have got alcohol transfers into them either, Trev. But I would have to say, this is so subtly done, this one, uh, that actually I really enjoy it. Um, now I'm saying that because some people like to get a real wallop from, their, from, from the whiskers or from the bourbon. Uh, but for me, uh, I just like a little kiss of it. And that is... That surprised me. 
<laughs> oh, it's delicious. Like oh, it's delicious. Isn't it? Isn't that desserty, delicious? It's strong, but it's, it's delicious. Strong, but but it's not alcoholic. There's not a lot of heat to it. Of course, there's a little bit of warming sensation Ooh. as it's going down. But I tell you what, it really is a, a that's, delicious. It's thrown me actually. After dinner, drink this one. Because I don't like those sort of beers. No. In fact, I'm gonna have to pour up another little bit, even though you drank all the rest of it, but just for myself. Um, really is delicious. But not too much whiskey, is there, Trev? No, it's just not nice. Not too much whiskey. Just a little suggestion of it, which is what I like. Just a little blush of it, as it were, uh, but not too much. Um, and I'm trying to place sort of something. It's, it's definitely smoked, uh, you know, like, um, up at what you call it, the corta, the the, the yeah. sarmi teepee yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. when they when they do the grilling inside, or, yeah. or they have a fire go, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, that sort of thing. You get those sort of yeah, those sort of um, yeah, wood burny sort of notes. Built in smoky well. type. A bit thing. of chicory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. That's what I was looking for. That sort of thing. Yeah, Are you getting that in the beer too. It's, it's quite red actually. Oh, it's lovely. You look at it. It's gorgeous. Lovely warmth to it. Uh, in terms of rating, hmm. four point six, Trev. 4.6. Uh, absolutely, it's I'm very nice. I'm going on this one. Very uh, now nice. people will say because it's brewed or because it's me. No, 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 I'm going to say the same thing. I don't even like those sort of beers. No, I'm not a big fan of these sorts of beers, to be honest with you. Uh, rated the other two a little, quite a bit lower. But this one really does float my boat. 4.6. Lovely beer. It's um, a sharer, isn't it? It's, it's like a oh, couple of mates sitting... Definitely do you know what? It, do you know? Just I just had a, a thought in me, and after dinner, the old-fashioned uh, down, Downton Abbey cigars and and a, some yeah. of that two blokes drink. You know, exactly. All gentlemen's club yeah. sort of stuff, isn't it? Lovely. Gorgeous beer. Well done, Brewdog. Cheers, everyone. Until next time. Cheers, Miss.